one of the most underrated Gen 5 paint schemes ever. In my opinion, a beautiful one at that. Here is Ryan Newman's 2012 Haas Chevrolet Impala. Howdy folks, it's Diecast Buffet here again, and welcome back to another NASCAR Diecast review. Today's car is a little bit out of the ordinary. It's borderline classic, borderline uh, bargain bin, because I got this thing dirt cheap, but that's besides the point. Here is Ryan Newman's 2012 Haas Impala, and uh, this is a diecast that I just picked up uh, randomly. Like, honestly, I just picked it up. I mean, like, God, it was like months ago I picked this thing up. I was like, you know what? It's dirt cheap. You wouldn't believe the amount of money I paid for this. I mean, literally, it was like, it was, the. let's just say, it was like the price of a NASCAR Authentics at your re retail stores, you know? I literally just picked this thing up, and I was like, you know what? Why not? You know, I have no 2012 cars, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to pick this up, and today, I was like, you know what? Let's just do a review. Let's just do a review on it. Why not? Um, as you can see right here, Ryan Newman, 2012 39 Haas Automation Impala. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get this Impala. Yes, I love saying that, by the way. I love saying that. Out of the box. Oh my goodness, this die cast, I, look, I'm just going to go ahead and say it, guys, this thing is amazing looking, I mean, just, wow, I never realized Ryan Newman had such a great looking car in 2012, oh my lord, uh, if you're one of those newer viewers or a new collector to NASCAR die cast, a lot of y'all don't remember or even know that Lionel uh, took over the die cast production production in 2011 uh, 2012 I heard was a pretty good year for their quality but in 2013 it hit the toilet and this is going to be one of those reviews that uh, we're gonna see how that holds up so right there you got the Haas logo on the hood just a nice sleek gloss black background you know looks pretty good uh, you kind of pan over here I mean this is back when they used to put numbers on the uh, the headlights and you had the, the, the team logo on the headlights as well. And that's something that you don't see anymore. Uh, just straight up Impala, not Impala SS. Just beautiful. I uh, really like how this front kind of just shark teeths around. You know, it's kind of like a like a saber tooth or something. And that bright fluorescent neon day glow, whatever. I mean, that's how you make a scheme pop, man. You put some silver uh, paint on it. You kind of add like a secondary black gloss around this joint and uh, you go ahead and put some fluorescent day glow oh my god man beautiful die cast that's how you really make a die cast and you go over here and pan to the roof you got ryan newman you got the american flag and i will admit though the print on this thing is super uh, it's super fine but it's kind of hard to read at the same time so you got coca-cola oreo u.s army outback bass pro shops and i don't know what that last one is i don't know maybe that's decal screw up that actually looks like a decal screw up to be honest with you you screw over here nascar race car sprint cup series god it's been a while since i've said that mechanics wear holly uh, lincoln welders mobile one 3m direct tv usg auto meter uh three scale is that three scale or something i think it's three scale jags u.s army haas uh bosch and some other ones like for some reason it, it looks more pixelated on this die cast Compared to ones I've uh, reviewed before, which is kind of weird. Uh, I got some decal screw up here. You can kind of see how it kind of crinkles up a little bit. You got Move Mail, Comp, Elder Brock, Sunoco. And this is back when contingencies were a thing, folks. If you are just a new fan to the sport, we used to have contingencies all over these things, man. Uh, and I miss the 39 car. I'm not going to lie. I do miss the 39 car. And, uh, you know, it's kind of part of the, the reason why I run the 39 car in the NASCAR Drive Cup Series. Uh, for Ross Chastain to the tail of this car and you got Wix air filters mobile one Aspen dental and that was very early in their sponsorship tenure with Stuart Haas racing you know Haas racing is now a Ford team they got you know Mustangs but Aspen dental before they were on the hood of Danica Patrick's car they were a small associate sponsor on Ryan Newman Mac tools over here to the tail end of this thing you got hotcnc.com America's machine tool let me tell you if you invested in Haas CNC 
uh, their company, their machines, whatever. Let's say you invested in them in 2005. Let's say you invested a grand. So let me tell you, you could probably buy a brand new GMC Sierra off the dealership down payment, no financing, nothing. Just straight up pay for it and drive it out because of how much this company has grown. I mean, for crying out loud, they're running Formula One. It's unbelievable how much money Haas has been making. Oh my God, man. Gene Haas is, uh, he is making an absolute fortune. And you can just pan over here. You got a little bit of a decal. Uh, it wasn't properly wrapped. And this car is meant out of the box. I have never taken this thing out of the box, I might add. You know, Sprint Cup Series, Ryan Newman, all that good stuff. You pan over here. I miss these back windows, man. I miss it. Uh, this is, of course, the Gen 5 body, you know. Uh, some people might consider this a COT. I don't. The COT was the wing, you know, COT, not the not the ducktails. It actually had the wing. Um, and, and man, I just, I love these boxy-style cars, man. I love it. And this is back when, this is the last generation of stock cars to actually look like stock cars, in my opinion. Because now they got banners, they got the roof is like, the numbers are screwed up like this, and then you got a sponsor here. They don't put crap on the headlights. The racing sucks. I can go on and on and on. So you got the 39 uh, number here. I love that, man. Just I love just how the accents worked good. You got the accent color, uh, and then you got the secondary color, primary color. It just flows so well, man. Black, what is that, white? Or is that silver? I think it's white. Uh, neon, day glow, orange, and then you can screw over here. You got Quicken Loans, and sure enough, Quicken Loans would actually leave Stuart Haas Racing to follow Ryan Newman when he would leave Stuart Haas Racing for RCR. I see this die cast, I think of two things Ryan Newman at Martinsville in 2012, and that crazy, crazy finish when Clint Boyer and Newman and Johnson and Gordon were all just going nuts trying to win that thing and Hendrick Motorsports ended up taking a like fat L unfortunately that day um, and it was it was exciting but I also think of NASCAR inside line and I think about the paint schemes on there they did not have metallic paint schemes they had this car on there I believe but instead of it being metallic silver it was just a flat kind of glossy silver and it looked poop this is a proper paint scheme and I gotta admit man this is a beautiful car I mean I want more day glow. Can we get more day glow in NASCAR? Like, come on, man. I have seen so many trash paint schemes on the Gen 6 car. Man, let me tell you, if I was driving a car in the Cup Series, I would have either gold numbers or I would have some sort of day glow color on my race car. You know, you figure Kurt Busch, uh, you got the monster colors. Why don't you run bright neon green wheels, spoiler, Splitter, I'm talking 3D, like just super detailed paint scheme, you know, just like a, just one of those secondary night paint schemes you might see at Bristol, you know, just something cool, we don't see that anymore, man, it's just Menards, that's the only company out there really sporting on these day glows, and I think it's stupid, I wouldn't put more day glows out there, but all in all, guys, this is a very good die cast, in my opinion, and this is definitely before Lionel's quality took a L. Sure, this little part right here is kind of goofy, but you know what? I ain't worried about it. Uh, there's a few decal issues here and there, but let's be honest, not even Winter Circle was perfect, but you know how that is. Lionel um, would take a fat L after this car was made in two 2013 when the Gen 6 mold finally dropped, and uh, oh god, it just went downhill from there, but... With all that being said, thank y'all so much for watching the video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what y'all think about this 2012 Haas 39 Impala. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, notification bell, and of course, you know, feel free to give it a thumbs up. With all that being said, guys, hope you're having a great one. And Diecast Buffet, signing off.